There has been much discussion on how to get the BC COVID vaccine card onto your phone for easy access. Hi, my name is Stuart Lynch, and I thought that I'd put this little video together. It's short but detailed on how you can do this from start to finish. Credit to the shortcut portion of this video should go to CBC Vancouver as they showed how to create the shortcut on their Instagram account. I'm just going to go into a little bit more detail. On your phone, open Safari and go to the Health Gateway site. When you're there, tap on the Get Card button, and this will take you to the next page. Here, you'll need to know your personal health number, which you can likely find on the back of your driver's license, and you'll need to have your birthday and the date of at least one of your COVID vaccine shots. I'm hiding my information here for privacy purposes, and I'm going to speed up the typing a bit, but go ahead and enter your information. When done, tap on the Enter button. This will display the BC vaccine card on the screen. Now I suggest that you scroll down a bit to get it nicely framed on your phone, and then take a screenshot. Now an iPhone comes in two different types or versions, one with a home button, that round button at the bottom, and one without. If your phone doesn't have a home button, you can press the side button and the volume up button at the same time. If your phone has a home button, press the side button and the home button at the same time, and in either case, quickly release both buttons. After you take the screenshot, a thumbnail temporarily appears in the lower left corner of your screen. So tap on that to bring it up, and from here, you can now crop the image even more to remove the top and bottom portions so that all you're left with is the card showing the QR code. When you're satisfied, tap on Done, and then tap on Save to Photos. Open the Photos app after this and open the Album section. Tap on the plus button here to create a new album. Now give it a unique name that you'll remember, because you're going to need that in just a second, and then tap on Save. When the photos are displayed, tap on that single COVID vaccine card to select it, and then tap on Done. You can exit to your home screen now either by tapping on the Home button or swiping up from the bottom. Locate and open the Shortcuts app. Tap on the plus button to create a new shortcut. Tap on the add action and search for photos. In the listing, tap on find photos. Tap on add filter. And then tap on the recents word and search for and locate that album folder that you just created and tap on it. Tap on the plus button to add a new action. Dismiss the photo listing if it's still there and search for brightness. Tap on set brightness and set it to 100%. This will make it easier for the vendors to scan your QR code. Tap on the plus again and search for result and select show result. Tap on Photos. Tap on the plus button one more time to add your last action, and again search for Brightness. And this time, return your brightness to what you normally would have it at, somewhere between 50 and 80 percent. Well, the shortcut's complete, so tap on Next and give it a name. You can tap on the icon now and choose any color you want. And then you can tap on the Glyph tab and choose any icon you like. I like this Neil one myself. Tap on Done, and the shortcut will show up in your list of shortcuts. Now we want to add it to our home screen. So tap on the three dots, and then on the next screen, tap on the three dots here. Tap on Add to Home Screen and then tap on Add. 
So now you can exit again back to your home screen by either tapping on the home button or swiping up from the bottom and you'll see your shortcut. I personally like to move this to the first screen so I can long press on it and choose edit home screen and your apps start to jiggle. With the jiggling I can tap and hold and then drag while holding down on that icon and swipe until I reach the first screen and then let go. When I'm satisfied, I can tap on Done. Now you have one tap access to your vaccine card. Now if you want access from any screen on your phone, long press on one of the items in the dock and edit the home screen one more time and drag that item out of the dock onto one of your screens and then drag your shortcut into that location to replace it. Now, no matter where you are, you have access to your COVID vaccine card. Hope this short video has helped you, and if so, please like and share it with others. Thanks for watching.